The Xbox One had a turnaround year of sorts in 2015 and a big reason for that was its game lineup. In this video we will be taking a look at the top 10 Xbox One console exclusives of 2015. Keep in mind if a game was released on the Xbox One and PC it will still be present on this list as a console exclusive. With that being said, let's get right into this. Number 10 is Massive Chalice. Massive Chalice is a turn-based strategy game developed by Double Fine. In the game, you play as a ruler defending their kingdom from an invasion. The game is played in two modes, strategy where the player is making long-term decisions, and tactical where you play in turn-based battles. It's a different take on the tactical RPG formula, and it's a great game that only some people will enjoy. Them. To inspire them. It takes mechanics that are popular in the genre and some that are unique and blends them to create a very unique game. When the game was released back in June, it was a free game for the Games with Gold program and now you can pick it up for about $20. Number 9, Castle Crashes Remastered. Castle Crashes is available on many different platforms, but the remastered version is exclusive to Xbox One. If you've never played Castle Crashes, it's one of the most pure fun co-op games you're ever gonna play. It's a hilarious 2D side-scroller beat-em-up where you and up to three friends can play through the story together, slashing away at enemies all while gaining XP and leveling up. The remastered version also has better visuals and the game runs at 60 FPS. If you've never played Castle Crashes, you must. It's one of the best arcade games of all time and a must own for anyone. Number 8, Smite. The MOBA genre has been one of the most popular genres in gaming for the last few years, but the games have garnered most of their fame on PC and never achieved much success on the consoles. But Smite on the Xbox One does a great job of being a MOBA tailored for console players and the console controls. The gameplay works a lot better than most would expect on a controller, and while it's not as intuitive as using a keyboard and mouse, it's not like the game has console and PC crossplay, so everyone is on an even playing field. If you've been looking to get into MOBAs, check out Smite on Xbox One. It's the best option on consoles and it's free to play, so you might as well give it a shot. Number 7, State of Decay. State of Decay has been on the Xbox 360 and PC for a while, but earlier this year it was released on the Xbox One in the form of the Year One Survival Edition. Think of it as your typical remastered version of a game, improved visuals, it includes all the DLC. The game itself is a third person survival game with a lot of zombies. It sounds a bit like Daisy, well because it kinda is. But keep in mind that State of Decay is single player only. The game is a bit rough around the edges with stiff animations, a few bugs, but it's not enough to detract from the fun in State of Decay. Let's dance. The survival element of the game rings true and it really feels like you're in a zombie apocalypse. The world is believable and almost terrifying to be in. As far as survival games go, State of Decay, especially the Year 1 edition, is among the best on the market right now for the Xbox One. Number 6, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. It seems like 2015 was really defined by many remasters, but trust me on this, Gears of War Ultimate Edition is worthy of your time. This is the first Gears of War game remasters and it does feature a few differences. The game obviously does look better running at 1080p and 60 frames per second. They've also added a few chapters to the campaign that were previously only in the PC version of Gears of War. For the most part, this is still the same Gears of War gameplay that you may have experienced back in 2006. If you never played Gears of War, this is a great entry point to the series for its campaign and obviously the multiplayer. And for those that really enjoyed Gears back in 06, the gameplay still holds up pretty well. <laughs> Considering the game is a budget title and is even being bundled for free with many Xbox Ones, you'll probably end up getting it for really cheap or even free. And for that, it's a game worthy to be in your library. Number 5, Rare Replay. For fans of retro games, Rare Replay is an absolute must. There was a time when Rare was one of the most well-renowned game development studios on the planet, and Rare Replay collects 30 of their games onto one collection for a $30 price tag. While not every game is an absolute home run, considering you've got games like Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Perfect Dark, there's so much quality in this package. And even games like Cameo and Perfect Dark Zero are fun to go back and play. There are some unfortunate exclusions due to licensing issues like GoldenEye 007, but hey, what can you do? That was pretty much out of their hands. For $30, this is a ridiculous value for some of the best games of all time. This is a must for people that never experienced Rare's catalog of amazing games, and considering for the price tag, you are getting achievements in every game totaling 10,000 gamer points. There's a lot of replay value and a lot of content in this one. Number 4, Forza Motorsport 6. It's hard to argue that Turn 10 has set the bar for racing games. The Forza series has been a fixture on the Xbox platforms for over a decade now, 
And it's amazing that turn 10 has not only kept quality consistent, but making every game better than the last. Forza 6 is no exception, and while it doesn't feature a host of completely brand new changes over Forza 5, it is a more refined Forza experience. The visuals keep getting better and better, the detail in the game from the terrain to the cars themselves look outstanding. The sound is on point and whether you're a car fanatic or a newbie to racing games, the Forza games do a great job of easing anyone from any skill level into the games. If you're looking for a racing game, Forza is by far the best option on the console. And even if you've never played a racing game, try Forza, it's a game that does a very good job introducing you to the genre. Number 3, Ori and the Blind Forest. This is one of the best downloadable games ever. Ori and the Blind Forest does storytelling in a way very few games can match. Right from the start of the game, you feel emotionally invested into the world and the characters. The gorgeous art style and the music also adds a layer to the atmosphere of the game. The gameplay is that of a very well-developed platform as you'll solve puzzles, jump and shoot. And while the game is a 2D platformer, there is quite a bit of exploration in the game and it's not completely linear. The art style is tremendous, the storyline is gripping, you'll be attached to the characters. Ori and the Blind Forest is an absolute must-play game, and one of the best games on the Xbox One currently. Number 2, Halo 5 Guardians. There's so much that can be said about 343's Halo 5. The game was by far one of the most anticipated Xbox One exclusives, and with that anticipation comes a level of hype that's very hard to deliver on. Did Halo 5 deliver on its hype? Well, that's hard to say. The gameplay is excellent, with the game running at 1080p and 60 frames per second, the game is responsive, the gunplay is better than ever. Issues do arise as far as the game's single player goes. The campaign is just not very good, the story is mundane, and it's by far the worst of the Halo games. The multiplayer is what Halo 5 really gets right, the smooth 60fps gameplay really adds to the multiplayer, and in 2015 it really should be a mandatory in multiplayer FPS games. There's a lot to do in the multiplayer from many different modes and content to unlock, it's all very fleshed out. And Halo 5 is a game that 343 has also been consistently updating to refine the experience and make the overall game better. If you're expecting something outstanding out of the campaign, well you're gonna be disappointed. However, as far as a multiplayer first person shooter goes, Halo 5 is very very good. Number 1, Rise of the Tomb Raider. It is really a shame that Rise of the Tomb Raider had to be released on the same day as Fallout 4. Because when you're competing with a game like Fallout 4, you're obviously gonna be swept under the rug. And that absolutely sucks because Rise of the Tomb Raider is one of the best games of the year. If you were a fan of the Tomb Raider reboot back in 2013, well then Rise of the Tomb Raider will absolutely blow you away. The story is very interesting and almost captivating at times, the gameplay has been improved leaps and bounds upon with more options for playing the game. And the size of the game comparatively to the 2013 game, it's much bigger. Lara does as good job as ever as the main character and the antagonist is actually very well developed as well. If you have an Xbox One, I implore you, Rise of the Tomb Raider is among the best games of the year and it's a must play for anyone. Now yes, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a timed exclusive, but in 2015 it was only available on the Xbox One, so we have to give its due as the number one Xbox One console exclusive of 2015. So that wraps up our countdown for the top 10 Xbox One console exclusives of 2015. What do you think about our list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think a game should be ranked higher? Do you think a game should be ranked lower? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and goodbye.